Sup guys. All right, let's get this out the way first. You may be asking yourself, Darnell, why, why is Darnell wearing a coat indoors? And the short, simple answer to that is <laughs> because I want to. <laughs> I do whatever I want. <laughs> real hot girl shit. No, the real reason is because I'm shooting this video kind of late. The heat's kind of starting to come down a little bit. Just wearing the coat because it was right there on the door. And plus, your boy's getting over a little bit of sickness right now. So, you know, just want to bundle up a little bit. <laughs> What's up guys? Like I said before, if I said it before, if you don't know who I am, my name is Darnell. I'm the creative director of Bomani Lounge and I'm responsible for a lot of the cool shit that you'll see in our community, the videos, the graphics, all that jazz. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for coming on board. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you like what you see, check out the rest of the channel, peruse our content. Yo, I'm sure you'll find something that you likely will enjoy will likely enjoy. But overall, welcome to Bomani Lounge. We're a community of just cool and awesome and beautiful Yu-Gi-Oh players that just love to play the game and talk shop and talk meta and travel to events and participate in tournaments together. If you want to be part of this community, you know, we're very, very, very tight-knit. Everybody's really cool with each other. Leave the toxicity at the door. But really, I consider everybody in this community my friend. I'm pretty sure if you were to come on board to our community, you'll be welcome with open arms and seen as a friend as well. Check out our Discord, check out our Facebook group. All the links for that stuff will be in the description box below. Now, what I wanted to do for this video is actually give a little community update. I haven't spoken to you guys directly in a little bit, and you know, I'm a busy guy, like I'm sorry. I got a lot going on, man. I wanted to actually just like sit down and let you guys know a couple of things that are happening in our community. First things first, I actually want to talk about another online tournament that we're having. We're having another online tournament, Why Go? Pro $15 entry at 6 30 p.m. sharp. You need a minimum of 12 players to start. And if you want to sign up for this tournament and win yourself an Xbox, be sure to join our Facebook group and our Discord. You must be part of the Facebook group and Discord to participate. Yeah, so check the links in the description box below. Make sure you sign up for our Discord and Facebook group. Once you're in the Facebook group, there should be a post that'll be pinned to the top of the group announcing the tournament. Just comment below that you'll be in, and there'll be a PayPal link below where you you could actually s send payment for this tournament to participate in. And our, pre our previous tournaments have been pretty dope. We've given out things like Nintendo Switches, we've given out prize cards, we've given out some really cool stuff. And unlike other Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments that you'll find in the Yu-Gi-Oh community from other organizations, when you participate in one of our tournaments, you'll actually get the prize that you've competed for. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm just getting over this cold. When you participate in one of ours and win, you'll actually get the prize. <laughs> that is big, that is a big, big thing. <laughs> Also, if you don't come in first place at this tournament, don't sell yourself short, don't be upset, don't go home and cry on your pillow, you'll probably already be at home because it's an online tournament. We're also giving out prizes for top placers in this tournament. If you want to participate, like I said before, hit up our Discord, join our Facebook group, comment below, let us know that you want to be part of this tournament, we'll add you to the roster, and on the day, it'll fire off. It's going to be Wigo Pro only for an Xbox One. An Xbox One. Next up on the agenda, I want to talk about our podcast. Yes, you heard me correctly. Bomani Lounge has launched a podcast channel, and I'm super excited about it. If you couldn't tell, I think it's super dope. Uh, we plan on uploading audio versions of some of the videos we upload to our YouTube page. So if you can't sit around and watch the video, I don't know why you wouldn't, because the editing is amazing on a lot of our joints. You can actually listen to the audio version on whatever platform you're choosing. Spotify, Apple Music, any major platform, our podcast will be there. Just search Bomani Lounge. And if you search for Bomani Lounge on your podcast platform of choice and subscribe, be sure you subscribe, that is critical! Because you'll know whenever we upload a new podcast, you'll actually get the first episode of our show, The Shadow Realm. It's going to be a sit-down discussion as a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh type show where it's going to talk about the meta, talk about niche topics, and discuss various things throughout the Yu-Gi-Oh world and hemisphere and all that jazz. It's going to star our boy Henry, which we'll, we'll get back to him in a second. It's going to star our boy Henry along with a 
currently right now a rotating cast of co-hosts, but I think the discussions on it are really good. The dynamic is really good. It's pretty entertaining. You might learn something too if you listen to it. Henry's a very notable player, and uh, he's gonna bring a lot of knowledge from things like discussions that he's had with the legend and his good buddy Patrick Hoban, his experiences topping regionals, day two in YCSs. It's spiral play, you don't drop your sleep for those games because you're expecting the Dark Ruler no more or the Super Poly. Exactly, exactly, in games two or three. There are literally more bad cards to draw than there are good cards to draw, which is a problem. I mean, sometimes drawing the trap is good, but sometimes it's not, and then people are playing Utility Wire, I'm like, wow, that's the definition yeah, of that's winning. another another brick yeah playing people who play utility wire just don't get it they don't just don't get it like are you kidding you really have to search on another card off quick fix to win the game subscribe like, to our podcast check out the first episode let us know what you think lots more of that to come yeah it's gonna be super dope and speaking of henry our next order of business actually kind of centers around him because the one thing i've been pushing for for a while that i think myself Femi and any of the higher ups of Bomani Lounge have been pushing for for a while. We've started to build the Bomani Lounge competitive Yu Gi Oh team. We've got some really good players lined up for it, and we're just hoping to to build this team and to grow and have everyone on there get better, get their YCS tops, regional tops, all that, and just yeah, really get Bomani Lounge out there in the competitive scene. And this is why I mentioned Henry because Henry officially is the captain of the Bomani Lounge team. Let's go! You heard me correctly. He's the captain of the team and is responsible for putting it together. And we've already lined up some really cool players for it, so I'm super excited about it. And if you're in the Bomani Lounge community and you think you got what it takes, you might want to reach out to Henry and see what's what. But for the most part, the team is this close to being done. Your boy's actually working on t-shirts designs for it as we speak. As you're probably watching this, I'm probably slaving away at the computer right now trying to put the fire together for the squad. <sighs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> I just want to mention some of the people that are going to be featured on the Bomani Lounge team. Some of them are new faces. Some of them have been in the community since day one. So we got, obviously, like I mentioned before, Henry's the team captain. We got our boy Juan on the team. Juan has got a lot of potential and a big future in this game. Like I, I see it from that guy, man. He's, he's going to go places. And hopefully this team will be something to help foster that and help him get the success that we think he deserves. We got Henry's good friend Elias, which I know he's a really good player and sits down with Henry. And they, they're the ones that come up with a lot of the, the his decks and strategies. We got the legend of the GOAT format himself. Oh, Carl, the man is excited to come back to advanced format and we're excited to have him here too, especially as part of the team. We also got people like Cody Edwards. Yes, that Cody. <laughs> uh, listen, we know he's a divisive figure. Good. <laughs> Hopefully, as part of this team environment, he'll be able to get the success and the tops that he deserves as well, too. So, and I, you see that I keep mentioning that. So, we're trying to foster an environment where we help each other grow and actually communicate with each other. Because from what I understand about other Yu-Gi-Oh teams, they're not really friends. Like, none of the, a lot of the teams that I've heard about, the members of the teams aren't really friends. They just show up to events together, play, rep the brand, go their separate ways. And that's not the type of environment we really want for our team and just we don't want that for anybody who's part of the Bomani Lounge community as a whole. We got Peter Cesario. Sorry if I butcher anybody's name. It's not, not my fault. It's it's kind of late. I'm a little bit tired. We got our boy Clark Glorious, Matthew Navarez, Emmanuel Rayford, and Chris Costa. And so far, this is the beginning framework of a team, an elite force, a squad repping the Bomani Lounge that's gonna take down your next regional in YCS. So Look forward to that and look forward to seeing the Bomani Lounge brand out in the wild more often, visually. I mean, see it with your eyeballs. Also, in Bomani Lounge news, I want to talk YCS Charlotte, North Carolina. We are doing a Bomani Lounge van trip to that YCS. And if you've been on one of our van trips, uh, it's a lot of fun. We've had YCS Day Tours, Toppers, Prize Card Winners. Um, we've had really entertaining and some of the greatest people you'll probably ever meet in the confines of a Yu-Gi-Oh event along for this ride. And every time we do one of these, it's a lot of fun. But if you wanna participate in our next van travel trip for this YCS, 
let us know all the information for that the time of departure when we're returning uh, the Airbnb information the cost of the trip and where to send your deposit if you really want to participate okay I think that'll do it for me and these community updates if you like what you saw make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel we're the best Yu-Gi-Oh channel out there and if we're not the best we're gunning for the best we're gonna take them out taking everybody's heads <laughs> Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, join our Discord, check out our Facebook group. Lots more to come from us. I think that'll do it for your boy. I'm gonna get on out of here because it's late, I'm tired, a little bit sick and cold like I mentioned before. All right guys, and as always, make sure you enjoy your time in the lounge. Peace.